Now, we proceed to cost-driven optimization. So, di ba, as an engineer, uh, we have to design a project wherein we can have the maximum benefit at the least cost. So, regarding cost-driven design optimization problems, we have two main tasks. Ano? So, first one, this determine the optimal value for a certain alternatives design variable. Diba yung optimal value natin kanina? Sabi natin yun yung value ng demand para ma-maximize yung profit. So, dito naman yung hinahanap, halimbawa dito sa problem natin, Ano yung optimal value natin, uh, hinahanap naman natin? So, dito, meron tayong jet-powered commercial air, airplane. So, ang tanong naman, what velocity should the trip be planned to minimize the cost? Ano? So, aalamin natin kung anong, at what velocity siya tatakbo para mabawasan or ma, uh, minimize yung total cost natin. So, second task is to select the best alternative. Ano? So, kung may iba't iba tayo, may meron tayong mga alternative. So, determine natin kung alin doon yung best alternative natin. So, in general, ano, we, we have here the simplified format of a cost model. So, makikita natin dito, naka in terms lang siya with what with uh, in terms ng one design variable which is ito si x and then we're in si a naman is the parameter that represents the directly varying cost and then si b naman is the parameter that represents the indirectly varying cost and then si k is the fixed cost so Yung steps para makuha natin or in order to optimize the design with respect to cost. So, first, i-identify natin yung design variable. So, katulad nito, yung design variable natin dito na consider is yung velocity ng airplane. So, second, write an expression for the cost model in terms of the design variable. So, katulad nito, uh, gagawa tayo ng equation in terms ni velocity. So, di ba may, ang i-consider natin is minimizing the total cost. So, we are going to uh, minimize the total cost. Ibig sabihin, ano ba yung equation ng total cost natin? So, di ba, uh, total cost is equal to so, ano ba yung mga cost natin dito? Di ba, pag binasa natin yung problem, the cost of operating a jet-powered commercial airplane varies as the three halves power of its velocity, specifically C sub O equal to KN raise, uh, V raised to three halves, where N is the trip length in miles and K is the constant of proportionality. So, V is the velocity in miles per hour and ano ba si C sub O? It is the cost of operation natin. So, meron pa ba tayong ibang cost? So, pagtiting dito, the company that owns the aircraft wants to minimize the cost of operation but that cost must be balanced against the cost of the passenger's time. So, meron tayong tinatawag na cost of passenger's time. So, ang sabi dito, nakaset siya at $300,000 per hour. So, now, we have the total cost equal to C sub O plus C sub C. This is the cost of operation na K and V raised to 3 halves plus C C is the 300 thousand dollars per hour. Ano? So, tingnan nga natin kung paano natin to isasolve. Ano? So, we have to find the value of K. Ano? The constant of proportionality. So, saan manggagaling si value ng K? 
So, di ba may given tayo dito na 400 miles per hour. So, yung tinakbo niyang 400 miles per hour. The average cost of operation is $300 per mile. So, yung naging ano niya is $300. Yung N is 1 mile. So, di ba C sub O is equal to K and V raised to 3 halves. So, C sub O is $300 is equal to k is the unknown ano yung con unknown constant of proportionality then then n is 1 mile then velocity is 400 miles per hour so k is equal to 300 divided by 400 raised to 3 halves so this is equal to 0. Point 0.375 So, anong unit ni K natin? Yung constant of proportionality ba Si miles uh, dollars to ano? Dollars per okay. So, yung unit ng constant of proportionality natin is dollars and then hours raised to 3 halves and then miles raised to 3 halves so kapag sinubstitute natin to dito so diba ito na yung value dyan so makakancel si miles and then 